kindly remain seated as we present a pre-service song. Fail and surrounds me. 
Let's clap our hands unto the Lord. Can we make some noise? Let's celebrate the name of the Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Amen. How many are ready for the afternoon service? Are you ready? Can I hear some noise? Let the devil hear it. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. We want to welcome our father, my father, my father, the Archbishop, as he comes to minister. Hallelujah. Those who are online, we greet you. Be blessed wherever you are watching from. Uh, may the Lord bless you, share with others, so that they may also hear the word of God. Can we celebrate the name of the Lord? Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. How many are excited to be in the presence of the Lord this afternoon? Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, we bless your name today. We lift up the name above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ. We belittle any other name, be it sickness, be it restrictions of the enemy. We pull down in the name of Jesus. Even as we hear your word, for your word destroys any boundaries in our lives. We exalt your name and we pray this afternoon that you will pull many from restrictions to a life and walking with you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Give me utterance and anoint this place in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I started speaking to you yesterday about something very important and uh, it had to do with the issue of pushing boundaries. And I said there is the ultimate standard that was raised 
because the enemy has got a strategy of building all the time strongholds in your life, in my life, by raising his standards. If I can recap, I want you to catch this because it's important. He does he doesn't worry you coming to church. He says, let them go to church, but as they go to church along the way, raise standards before them so that they can continue beholding those standards. And then they, be, they, they build inside of them the strongholds that will actually uh, emasculate any potential in their lives. So the struggle is not so much about uh, whether you're going to church uh, and then in the church you are prayed for and things are not happening. The struggle is in exactly what is inside of you which was built through standards. And we've said that the standards can actually be built at the level of families where the enemy built for a long time a standard be it of abortion be it of poverty, be it of failure, it's repeated in the family until it's built inside of you so that even when the pastor prays for you, you don't really believe that anything can happen. But we have the ultimate standard who was raised amongst us, Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. And when he was raised, he was raised up high at Calvary where everyone could watch him could see just like that serpent in the wilderness if you remember that Moses was told by God anyone who is beaten by a snake let him look at the bronze serpent and whoever looks at the bronze serpent will be healed in the same way Jesus Christ was raised above all standards. So you and I can actually say there is no standard that the devil can raise in our lives that is higher than the standard of Jesus Christ. Our Messiah raised a standard of love above all standards. Our Messiah raised a standard of fatherhood above all standards. Jesus Christ raised the standard of healing. All other healings, because they are not from love, they are fake healings. They drag you in your life, they come back, but when Jesus sets you free, you are free indeed. So our Savior raised the standard, which we say, please, you continue beholding that standard the standard of our Lord Jesus Christ and this is now through his word because this word is Jesus Christ. As we continue to behold the word, we are becoming like him. We end up becoming like him. So the word cleanses all the strongholds inside of us. But I underlined, I said, it's a slow process but a sure one. It's a slow process, but a sure one. Just coming on Sunday, listening to the word of God. Coming on Friday, listening to the word of God. Uh, getting back home, like the Bereans, also revising scriptures, reading on your own. It, and something is happening, pushing boundaries off your life. It's a sure process, although it's, it seems slow, but it's sure. Saving in the house of God, doing the things of God, you are doing the word of God. This is pushing boundaries because these boundaries are in the realm of the soul. So you then discover that because you are in three parts, you have uh, the, 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 the soul, you have the spirit, you have the body. The actions of the spirit, the actions of the body, all these actions are guided by your soul. Your soul has got three parts that you must know. 
The first one, part of your soul is the conscious mind that receives everything. That's what's hearing me right now. You are hearing me through your, your conscious mind. And I always tell people, as things come here, I'm just recapping yesterday, as things come here, quickly address them. Don't wait. I gave an example to the youths. I said, there's nothing wrong in you turning your eyes and you say, see a woman with a mini skirt. You have not yet sinned against God. Because your eyes just landed there. But anything that then follows after that, when your eyes go back again, now these things start to go down into the subconscious, which is your heart. This is where files and files are, are put from childhood. All those files are there neatly put. And, and, and some actually talk of an unconscious mind inside where now those things, you don't remember them. But did it not happen? It happened. They, they are filed inside. Like for instance, do you remember who sat behind you in grade one? All the men and women here above 30 years. Do you remember anyone who sat behind you in grade one? Did, did it happen? It's filed somewhere, not in the conscious mind. Anything that overstays here goes down. So we take it off before it goes down. Because when it comes here, my son, it's now forming your character. When it comes down, that's why God says, guard your heart. For out of it flows the issues of life. Now, what is here then determines what happens to the two members of the other two members of your soul, which is your emotions and your will. Now, if there's anything so complicated that God created is the will. Because after creating it, I think God said, hey, I created something that can even decide against me. It can even decide against me. So you can even decide for the devil. Or for God through your will. But the will is fed from your heart. It moves according to what is filed in the heart. You have decided to come to church today. Why? Because in your heart there is a word of God which is now ruling. And so it directed the will. No, 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 no. Tell the body to carry us to church. But now imagine in the will, if what is there is junk. If what is there is what has been put inside by the standards of this world. The will is then directed to other things. Now let's get to emotions. Emotions are also directed by what is here. That's why the Bible says, guard your heart from out of it flows the issues of life. Flows to where? To your will and your emotions. You hear someone saying, crying, and say, you, you have hurt me. But you have never beaten him physically. But he says, you have hurt me. What he's talking now is the emotions. They've been hurt by things that have been said in the soul and they've been communicated to your emotions. So your life gets complicated when you just emulate any standard in this world. Bible then says in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 2, do not be conformed to the standards of this world if you really put it into paraphrase. But be ye Changed by the renewal of your mind. He's saying, keep this clean. Before things sink. And when they sink here, they are now forming strongholds. So as soon as you were born, daughter, they, 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 they started putting jurors around you. Don't go to the fire. Don't come near fire. 
We, we grew up, we're told, don't sit where roads cross. You develop boils. <laughs> you are, they are put, boundaries are put around. Don't go into the sea, don't swim. Fear is coming through. Whereas white young boys are playing in the pool. Their minds are being stretched. You are told, don't play in the pool. My wife was being told all the time by, by when she comes back from school and she's coughing, you were singing. <laughs> you were singing. Don't sing. And some of the things are not told, you are not told. No, 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 no. Some of the things you just see, my son. One, one preacher was lying. He passed through an airport where there was there were naked bodies. People putting on bikinis and all that. And he told his fellow men, he says, here we are in this country with no problem. We look at these things. It doesn't change us. The power of God is inside of us. And they, these things don't change us. Huh? You see a naked body and nothing happens. Even your archbishop. I will never dare do that. It transforms you gradually. That's why I really criticize those who started bringing carnivals in this nation in Zimbabwe where people are parading in the streets naked. No, 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 no. That's dangerous. That's dangerous because our young people are looking at a standard being raised. And that standard, as long as it's raised high, it continues to be raised. It's building strongholds inside of them. And they end up into promiscuity. They end up, you know, you get married, it's a two week marriage. Get married, it's a one week marriage. Because something has been built inside. You can't stand one face for two years. Right now, some of you, you look at John in the middle of the night. You look at him and you say, ha, when will this change? <laughs> you, are, you, are, you, you are put off when you look at him. Because you have a standard, you are looking somewhere. That's the problem. You have a standard, you are looking at pornography. You have a standard that you are looking at the internet Jezebel. That woman on the internet is polished. The guys who know how to do these things, they polish that woman to the extent that it looks like a fantasy, something you have never seen. That woman does not exist in real life. So the more you continue looking at it, it becomes a standard. So when you finally now come back home to your wife, Keresensia, who is developing some, who is developing some love handles. And she comes before you. Ah. You are dead, young man, because you have a standard on the internet. Are you getting what I'm saying? You have another standard on the internet, and that standard has built strongholds inside of a very fantasy woman. She doesn't exist. She's polished by computer. Ask them. They photoshop it. Photoshop and They polish. They don't exist, those men. I want the real thing. My guru, Peter. The real thing. The real thing. I want the real thing. Are you hearing somebody? Strongholds, my children, they can limit you for life. 
These are boundaries, not outside here. And so I then gave you some, some, some solution. I said the first one is the word of God I gave you. The second one I said, you dare go into palace assignments. Don't say no to palace assignments. Go into them. And the, the place to practice this is in the church. Kingdom vision. It's here. Come and sweep in church. Do it. It's a palace assignment. Even if you are a minister in a government, when you come to church, we just do palace assignments in the kingdom. It has nothing to do whether you are a minister or you are what? No, no, it's palace assignments. If you are an usher, you are an usher. And when you come here, we have the servant of the Lord touching spiritual things that you cannot touch at that level. Your personal vision succeeds because there's a kingdom, spiritual vision that fuels up your personal vision. So we serve in the house of God. I like it. I've seen executives serve in the church. They don't say, no, 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 you must, you must also allow me to preach for me just to be in the hosting. No, no, no. Executives serve in the church. Greeting people, serving in the house of God, expanding, pushing boundaries. And I said, you, even after service, greet people that are ungreetable. Just greet them. They've got their the executives. Just go there, son. Shake hands. How are you doing, sir? And look in the eye. Because a person is eyes. Look in the eye. How are you doing, sir? My name is so and so. And then I uh, know my name is so. Oh, oh, wait, where do you where do you work? And then and, and you you really know that after he has answered, you have no work. You are not doing anything. But it doesn't matter. Palace assignments. Then I gave you something I said. I don't know if I touched that, did I? I said that. This F. Once blood drops there, it closes. Did I touch on that? Exactly. And when you, the earth starts to smile at you, it pushes bound. My F is open. It's not brass. It's not iron. And now we were touching on something that's deep there because it's things now that are coming from generations where you never touched blood, but some did. And then obviously you're struggling because of that. But I gave you a solution. I say to you and never forget it. Pass from the arena of death to the arena of by loving people. I shall go there loving people. And the verse that I gave there was First John chapter 3, verse 14, if you remember, which says, now we know that we've passed from death to life because we love the brethren. Hallelujah. And then don't forget this. Prayer and fasting pushes spiritual boundaries. Prayer and fasting pushes spiritual boundaries. And Jesus there in the scripture that we read, Matthew 26, 37 to 41. If you can just go there, son. Matthew 26, 37 to 41. Then says unto them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry here and watch with me. And he went a little further. And I said, there is a place called there. It's a realm of operation above where you are. It's, it's, he was living without boundaries. He could go there. And he could pray at a level. 
So it's very important that you start to take your life to another level of prayer. And here you have to force things. You really have to force things because the enemy does not want boundaries pushed. And we go with our own mouths, open our mouths in prayer. How do you guarantee you are praying in the spirit? Because the Bible says praying always in the spirit. Guarantee that you are praying always in the spirit because of your the way you live, your character, so that you are always in the spirit. So using the name of Jesus Christ is not magic. It has to be in from a relationship. It has to be from a relationship. You can't just use the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, not from a relationship. It has to be from a relationship. Then it has power. We say in the name of Jesus. It has to be from a level of devotion. Say after me, devotion. That's how you can get results. And in the morning I was talking to those leaders who are here. Jesus says, explaining to the disciples in chapter 17 of Matthew, he's explaining to the disciples why they could not cast out that demon. And he says, this kind does not go except by prayer and fasting. What he is saying is that you want to go to another level, but you cannot go there because there is a kind of demonic presence that will not allow you in that box of jurors because you cannot match that level. And it doesn't mean Jesus has no power. Jesus has all the power. But it's not availed to that level of demonic presence, this kind. So many times we, we come to church, we love the Lord, we are going to heaven, but we are at a certain level with boundaries and there's nothing God can do unless we become aggressive in prayer and come against. And I, I think, I, I, I don't know if I underlined this to the generality of the people, prayer is not just prayer. To get your results, it must come from a relationship. It must come from a relationship with God so that when you pray, there are results. It must come from a level of devotion with God. Otherwise, you pray and nothing happens. And, 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 and I underlined also that prayer and fasting is a key to the spirituality. It's a key to spirituality. You know, it's not a key to prosperity. It's a key to spirituality. So when you are now in the spiritual, that's when you challenge the powers of darkness. But because it's a key to spirituality and you tap into your world, be very careful when you fast and pray. I've often said this because I'm an, an apostle of love. Be very careful when you fast and pray which world you are going to tap into. Because when you, which doctors, they fast and pray. You hear that a witch doctor was in the mountain and he was not eating for about 40 days. I think you remember when we prayed for one of the witch doctors in, in, in our church those years in the 90s. We prayed for this man who was, who, was, who was cooked in Mozambique and he was actually saying they cut you and cut you and put you in a big pot, then it boils. If the soup overflows, then you'll, you'll never wake up. But if the, if the soup does not overflow, you'll, you'll be put back and then you are a great witch doctor. So he, he passed the test. Then he came back. He was, he, was, he was working in Zimbabwe, attending to high-profile people and all that. When he came to Jesus, there's power in the name of Jesus Christ. 
a serious power. He's, I'm preaching, and then he looks from outside there. He sees me preach. He says, ah, let me just go and hear what they're saying. He stands by a fence outside, and then when he's outside there, uh, it's time to pray for the sick. I say, people come in front. I want to pray for the sick. And right there, God allowed him to have a headache. Right there as he stood there, headache. And then he says, ah, let me go and be prayed for. Ah, that was the mistake. <laughs> he come to get prayed, the demons in him, threw him in the air. And he, it was war. The man was delivered. But I want you to see the secret. We are praying. But he has got stuff hidden in his home. The child, the first child who brought him into witchcraft because of sickness, the day he came to us and surrendered everything to be bent, we take everything, we go to a, the, a, the grave is in one of uh, the houses that we had in, uh, in um, uh, Horton Park. We dig a big hole and we put everything there. We put paraffin. These things could not be bent. Nothing. And he's sweating standing there. He says, that someone who tried to do this, his mouth is on the side. I said, mine will never go on the side because I am a child of God. It will never go on the side. Then we started to sing, there is power in the name of Jesus. Going around and then a blue flame everything got bent. Everything got bent. Now, you are, you, are, you are actually persuaded to think that you can duplicate the same next assignment. I'm at work. I was, I was preaching and working, preaching and working. I'm at work and they phoned, they said, that which doctor, the child is about to die. My heart pumped. Then I drove, I went to his house. Hey, I see the young boy, the lips are out like this. The tongue too, he's just looking at it. It was something, and the spirit of God said to me, now it's different now. That's why I say there has to be a relationship. It's not the same as yesterday. In the name of Jesus, there is a power, power in the, no, no. You got to listen now because it's a different thing altogether. And I, the Spirit of God said, Come down. I come down. He says, Let him talk to you. He has some things still with him. You see now. So the devil is powerful when you have his stuff. The devil is powerful when you have his stuff because. That stuff is the contact point of the devil. It's the area. I always say, ZBC is indeed transmitting. It's transmitting. But if we remove the aerial from a TV, we won't catch ZBC. They have not stopped transmitting. They are transmitting, but we have nothing to catch. That's why Jesus said, the prince of this world is coming, but there's nothing of his in me. So this man had something remaining. And he said, yes, there's something. I said, let's go and get it and burn it. Where is it? We went to his house just by the door, a small bottle with things that I will not mention here. And he said, it's here. We burnt everything. I'm not exaggerating. Just six hours, the young boy was cleared totally. Totally cleared. So, it has to be different. It has to come from a relationship. Without a relationship, it's impossible to pray effectively. Hallelujah. So, Prayer pushes boundaries. Then number five, if you are writing down, I think number five or number six, I don't know. 
A past the test pushes boundaries. A past the test pushes boundaries. God will never allow you to pass through a failed test. He will never allow you to pass through a failed test. Because a test passed gives you a push of all boundaries around you. And takes you to another level. Our scripture in verse 42 says, Again, a second time he went away and prayed in Gethsemane, saying, Oh, my father, if this cup cannot pass away from me unless I drink it, your will be done. Jesus knew this principle, and by all means, he wanted to pass the test. This is the principle that causes spiritual rewrites among the children of God. The cross was before him. Yes, Matthew 26, verse 42. Again, a second time, he went and away and prayed and said, Oh, my father, if this cup cannot pass away from me unless I drink it, your will be done. He had no boundaries. He knew it had to be the will of God. And he had to pass the test. I want your will. You see, you can never push the boundaries and go to university unless you pass a test. You can never, never go up until you pass the test. Actually, what we see in the natural is happening in the spiritual. As you go from grade 7 and you pass a test, and then you go to form 4, pass the test, your boundaries are shifting. Your boundaries are shifting. You go to um, A level, you pass the test. You are somebody. You cannot even be compared with that one in form 4. Never. Your world view starts to change. You are shifting. And then you end, you end up with a master's degree. That person is not the same as someone who has got a standard two. Their world view, the way they view things, even a discussion about what's contemporary, contemporary things happening, it's, it's at another level. That's why I tell women, I say, as soon as you get married to somebody with a, with a master's degree, a PhD, worry him to upgrade yourself. You have to upgrade, otherwise con you run dry in conversations. <laughs> That's in the natural. You run dry. He comes back to work. He wants to discuss things at a level. And you are still saying, why, why did you come so late? <laughs> That's what I don't want. And you are even loud. <laughs> Do you know, as I lead people, I can actually tell what is your level on the phone. Hello, Archbishop. How are you? Ndibaba! Ndibaba! Then I say, it's me, Dini. So as I deal with you, I deal with you at your level. <laughs> so you have to upgrade yourself because your mind is like a master. It expands as you give it things of level. It keeps expanding. Actually, even memory loss comes in because you are not a reader. People who read a lot when they are now 90 years of age, like my father, Archbishop Dr. Ezekiel Guti, at 100 years, ha, I sat with him. And 
and he is talking sense because of reading. The mind is expanded by reading. And if you see any books, you tell children, my book is a book, my book is a you don't even read. So in the spirit world, the same. When we feed with the word of God, we expand. We really expand the inside. When we pass a test, we expand. Oh. <laughs> Never think that if you say, for instance, like what Joseph did, Joseph passed the test. The woman, this, is, this woman, the, the, the wife of Potiphar, says, sleep with me. And the young man says, I cannot because only you, my master said, you will never touch. Anything else I can touch in this house except you. The woman grabbed him one day. The young man left his jacket, passed the test. I'm telling you from that moment he was on another level. He was on another level. Boundaries shifted. We, boundaries are shifted when we pass tests. And, and by the way, you don't go about looking for tests. They come. The Bible is very clear. James chapter 1 verse 2 to 4. James chapter 1, 2 to 4. Consider it nothing but joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you fall into various trials. Be assured that the testing of your faith produces endurance. But let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Did you hear that? Go back again, son. Verse 2. Verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. They come, they do this to you in church. They come, they do this to you. They come, they do this to you. Don't ever think that they are just against me. Some of them are sent by heaven. To develop patience in you. So thank you. Mama Sorenson. Thank you. You are building patience in me. <laughs> I understood it later, son. I understood it later, but yes, I thought maybe I I actually wasted some time. I understood it later. The people that fought me when we were starting the ministry, they were actually sent by God sent by God. It was that time of being fought, fought so much. That's when big things happened. As I developed patience in Malawi, in preaching, and then I said yesterday, this man who has taken all my formulas in the company, comes and this, the voice comes and says, embrace him. I said, how can I embrace him? He's taken all my formulas in the company. And he's starting another company called Redemption Chemical. A chemical company to redeem people from me. <laughs> so how can I do that? And then I told my wife, let's go, let's do it. When I had said that, the third day at the crusade, in the night, God then came again because I had passed the test. God came again. I'd never, never been close to this man. I'd never seen him. Uh, we would just see him at a crusade. I mean, at a conference, that's all. I see Ezekiel Kuti coming. And in between us, there's a stone this side, this size. But blistering and glittering, it's, a, it's like gold, I don't know. It's right there. He's coming and I'm also coming close to the stone. And he says, pick that stone. And I said, it's nothing, I can pick it. And then I went, I picked it, I nearly broke my back. Then 
he said, he laughed. He said, time will come. You will pick it up. Then he left. Now, I, heaven only visited me because I had passed a test. So many people go round and round because of failure of tests. God saying, I can never allow you to pass through a failed test because you are a giant. You are supposed to do great things for me. A failed test will make sure that you continue with a limited mind and you will do nothing because the levels up there are wild. You are going to meet the sons of Anak, giants in Canaan. You go like this, you will not survive. That's why all the older generation of the children of Israel could not go through into Canaan. Limited. They cannot, they could not. God says you go to Canaan, the Anakims will just swallow you. Pass the test. You see what happens. I said you don't look for tests. They are given for free. They are given for free. So he only came now with the other level and said, oh, son, it's like, like you've just finished the exam and then they, they've marked and then you are congratulated by the teachers. Oh, that's good. Here is your certificate. So the servant of the Lord would never have been open to me and coming to hand me something that's Hey, unbelievable. I shan't go into that, but otherwise. <laughs> passing test. Then I, had to, I, I, I begged my wife, please, let's go and see these people who are abusing us. Let's go and see them. She finally agreed, but she could not have gotten the next thing that was coming. She has a dream. Baba Guti coming for a conference. <laughs> now he's our spiritual father, somewhere around 2000. He's our spiritual father. He's coming. We have just invited him for a conference. He's coming. And he comes with a jacket, Kawashkite, or small, you know, that's inside jacket, but with, uh, with colors, many colors. And then when he's uh, by the chair, he removes, he puts it on the chair, and then he goes to preach. After preaching, he forgets it. And my wife takes it, and he also shows me. I've forgotten about it six years later, 2006. I invite Baba for a conference at 112 Arara Street, somewhere there. I think it was uh, 2004, somewhere there. I invite him for a conference, leadership conference. He comes at 112 Street. He comes in that jacket. <laughs> he comes in the jacket. Now my wife is shivering. And I don't know why she's shivering. He comes in that jacket exactly. I've forgotten about it. When I introduce him to preach, he puts his jacket on the chair. He finishes preaching. He forgets it. It's coincidence. No. <laughs> That's God. My wife holds it and is, she's crying. She said, do you remember that dream? I said, yes, I do. He's passing on something to us. He's passing on something to me. And then one jealousy, strong Asha came. <laughs> ah, he was tall and muscular and so forth. He took the jacket and he went with it. When we told Baba, some years later he said, ah, but you got it. But you got it. Why didn't you take it literally? Such things happen, son. There is a realignment of destiny when you pass a test. You start to see far beyond where you are when you pass a test. 
that small house. Refused to be a small house. That's somebody's husband. Don't eat vomit of others. Get out of that. I say get out of that. Refuse. It doesn't matter. You suffer and get your destiny. Just suffer but get your destiny. You are a great woman. Don't be belittled by people. Somebody said, I'm, I'm old now. Who will take care of me? Jesus will take care of you. Jesus, the son of the living God. He says, even if your father and your mother deserts you, I will not. I will be with you. Hallelujah, somebody. So, a past test pushes boundaries. You yearn to lead many people, Pastor, pass the test of leading just 50. That pushes boundaries. You want to be wealthy? There's always a test for that. Opportunities of shady deals will come. Pass them. Hallelujah. And let me end here because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be praying for people. When we maybe write it this way, faithfulness in small assignments Pushes your boundaries. These are not palace assignments now because they are not that exciting. They are backyard assignments. Your faithfulness in small assignments pushes boundaries. Luke chapter 16 from verse 10. If you can just put it for me, Luke chapter 16. He who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much. And he who is unjust in what is least is unjust also in much. Let's go. Therefore, if you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit your trust the true riches? So true riches are highly spiritual, but the barometer of your faithfulness is always measured through unrighteous mammon. The issue of giving my children is not about money. It's about your heart. It's about your heart. Your heart is it with God or it's with mammon. Because there's a serious competition between God and Mammon. Mammon wants to compete with God. This is like a God. Money is not a problem. Money, but money only reveals who you are. People don't change when they see money. People are revealed when they see money. People are revealed when they lack money. So mammon actually reveals who you are. But otherwise in itself money is not a problem. But because there's a devil that works behind that. He really would want you to have all your life on it. And not God. So when he says tithe. When the Bible says tithe. It's not about money. It's about the heart. It's not about money, it's about the heart. 
And, and actually the Bible then says, if you have not been faithful with what is another man's, who can give you your own? Can you go there to 12, I think? He who is faithful, no, 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 is it 11? 11, let's go to 11, let's see. Therefore, if you have not been faithful, and if you have not been faithful in what is another man's, who will give you what is your own? So we, we learn to do things uh, uh, in the house of God. Now, now you've started a business and um, it's not moving. But you're forgetting when you worked for Edgar's, how every Friday you walked out with a, a, something from Edgar's. You steal. Those who work, worked at uh, Robrix uh, in those days, which is Willowdale, they say some of them actually would go out home every day with a brick on the, on the, on the bicycle. A brick wrapped like a loaf of bread. And after about two years, he's building. And now he starts a business of bricks. It's not moving. You were not faithful with that. What is another man's? So who can give you your own? Okay. This is a Bishop Chisa leading this side, the region. And his wife. <laughs> this is another man's. Are you saving well? Or you are fighting every day? Remember, like I told the other time, life goes with the right people aligned in your line of destiny. The right people put in their place so that they elevate you to a level. And when God wants to make sure that you succeed, he puts you under someone, he puts you under someone, and that someone may be someone you even outperform in certain things. But that's the man who has the key for the next level of your life. I have given this example time and again that someone must announce your arrival. You don't just arrive. You don't just become famous. Someone must announce. Dixon is now on the wild scene. Just as you have to be received in this world by a midwife. You don't spit at a midwife as you come out from your mother's womb. The they will kill you once you are young. <laughs> are you hearing me, somebody? Somebody's door must open first. Someone must be famous before you first. It's a principle of life to shape you up because you have not yet arrived. So someone becomes famous first before you. Now look at them, all of them. <laughs> Elijah with Elijah. Elijah is famous first. Then Elijah comes on the scene. But Elijah would clean the jacket of the man of God all the time. Even Jesus had to come in this principle. He says to, to John the Baptist, baptize me. You must be famous first. By the way, before Jesus was on the scene, this man called John the Baptist was famous. He was the talk of everywhere in Israel. Famous, announcing. And Jesus says, baptize me. Almost saying, anoint me to start the work. So we, if you are a prophet, I would say, who anointed you? A, a, a bishop, who anointed you? Who released you? Who gave you the permission to go? 
Or you want God himself to come down and take oil and, give, uh, and pour it on you. He always deals with the man. He deals with the man. Saul, go to, to Damascus. There is a man, Ananias. Joshua, Moses. Because what happens now, if you are not careful, I always give this example. Give me the, the, the bunch of keys. Give me a bunch of keys. Anyone with a bunch of keys? Uh, you guys, you don't have houses. Give me a bunch of keys. I am holding some keys. And in a given time, maybe it's 2014, I'm about to enter a very crucial room for faith in God ministries. I'm holding keys because the Bible says, I'll give you keys of the kingdom. I'm holding some keys in my hands and I'm about to enter a very crucial room. We, we, as I enter there, there's also somewhere written Bishop Jesus. Somewhere written Bishop Chafika. Somewhere written Bishop Njobo. Somewhere written. And in this big room of faith in God ministries, they are going to specialize and do great things for God in this big room. And then I'm at the door outside. Then a sun comes and rises against me. Baba Andichinga. I fall down, lose the keys. It's so dangerous to trick Moses because he holds keys. Oh, I hope you understand what I'm saying. He has some keys. So if you trick him and he falls down, now it depends on whether he is anger or not. Maybe patient like me and loving. I can take the keys and say, son, come. It happens. It happens. We hug each other. And, we, and we've done that with many. I've done that with many. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. We are human beings. But if you meet someone with anger, you just throw it away. He can't go in, neither will you. That's where you see a ministry goes dead. The founder lost the keys because of anger. Dry ministry. So when we move the one in front like this side the region Dokuto Batamushi Angatira Sirema Ki Are you hearing me somebody? Dokuto Batamushi Nanangu Kupapa Zira Kuda Laughing Giving some groceries How do you know he has a problem from his blood of anger. I've thrown keys in this region. I've given for this region to him. I'm not coming here. He has got the keys. He has got the keys. And he's doing it for me. Those who are clever, they really treat well the one up there. Because they don't want him to lose the keys. Now your door, written your name, is now two years. No one has ever opened it. And that's where you are going to be a man with a, cons with a consortium of companies. It will never happen anywhere else. So you then see someone now. Tra! Because he could not get into that door. So we are faithful with little things, my uncle. Faithful with little things. David was just playing the harp. Play. I don't know who was watching him. But when the opportunity came, 
And they asked in the palace, there is a madness in the palace. The king is mad. Why? Because God is preparing for David to come. Oh, there is madness in the palace, son. There is madness in the palace. And you are being prepared to go up into the palace. There is madness in the palace. There's madness in the palace of your, of your industry. God is paving way for you. But now, please be careful in miniature tasks. Do them well. Do them well. Even if he says one day, just come and clean in my office. You don't know why he's saying that. Do it with all the joy. The other time, he went with me to Zioja. I said, carry my bag. Carry my bag. He could have easily said, ah, at this level, I'm a prophet. Miniature tasks, they open you to palace assignments, to the life of a palace. There are certain doors that you cannot go into unless you know how to handle miniature tasks. There are certain doors and you must, your ears must be attentive and open for those tasks. They usually are looked down upon by many. People don't want to associate themselves with them. Even at home where you are, son, you don't have a job as yet, but where you are staying with your brother, do you sometimes wake up to do the garden outside? Because the Bible says, I'll bless the hand, the work of your hands. It didn't say for payment, no, the work of your hands. So you can just wake up in the morning, do some garden, gardens, and you put plant some vegetables, and well, they are grateful. That's the beginning of your story. That's the beginning of your story. Miniature tasks are challenging because it's like people are looking down upon you. I really salute Thompson. Where are you, son? That man. Minister Thompson, where is he? I salute this man. I salute this man. Do you know when we get to heaven, you are going to see some people with crowns that are big. And shining whilst you are like people actually say who is he these are miniature tasks that you think is nothing no but he is there toilets at our conferences amazing God bless you son God bless you God bless you Give me oil. Do we have oil here? I need anointing oil. Uh, maybe on the plate. On your plate. There are some people who are at the verge and they can actually leap to the next level. They are so close. And they just need the anointing that breaks the yoke of the enemy and they leap. That's what we are going to anoint people. So when I anoint you, be open and say, Lord, I want your grace to come upon me. We're talking about grace in the morning. The grace of God. Grace is favor that you don't deserve. With what you have done, you, what you have done, you would never, never get that. But it's the grace of God given for free. Just given for free by God. God has said, I will pour out my grace upon ego life and those who are coming from the within the region god is pouring out his grace in a measure you have never seen so some things that were difficult to do you're going to do them so easily because of the grace of god the lord is about to open your world because of his grace and receive the grace of god 
to do things that you have never done in your life. God is about to give you an enablement that you have, will shock you. That, that enablement will shock you, but please receive it by faith. As I anoint you today, I take my time. Receive the enablement of the Holy Spirit. I want you to open your heart and open your arms and receive it as I anoint you. Even when you come here and I'm anointing you, I want your hands up so that you will receive from the Holy Spirit the grace of God and the anointing that breaks the yoke of the enemy. The anointing that challenges the demonic of your family is to come upon you today. Is the anointing that breaks the yoke of the enemy. The anointing that breaks the yoke of sickness and diseases. The anointing that breaks the yoke of limitations. So that even in industry, the, your business is going down. The anointing will lift you up today in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the day the Lord has met. This is the day the Lord has met. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It's a long day. But it's an important day. It's a day the Lord has met. Now I'm, I'm releasing a giant here. I'm releasing a son to pastor a church. Pastor a church. And I'm going, I'm going to pour oil on him. But he will actually be ordained at our ESC. Released at our ESC. But for now, I just want to pray for him and release him. Within a month, you must have started a church. Even if you start you and your wife. It, don't even take anyone from here. You will if I hear you that you are there, I'll come down. I bought a plane, plane and come down. And I want you to leave them operate because God, the anointing will make the difference. The anointing will make the difference. It's going to flow because of the anointing. So I want to anoint him today and release him. And I'm also going to anoint the pastors who are within this, this particular province who are here. I'm going to pray for you. Even uh, our, sons, our son, the overseer, who is here. Just sit down. Sit down. Thank you, Lord. So I want you to come. This is Katsande and his wife. Katsande and his wife. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day. Come, Bishop, come. Thank you, Lord. I release you, son. I release you into your world. The anointing of the Holy Spirit comes upon you today. Your hands, your hands will heal the sick. There's an anointing of healing coming upon you now. As I pour this oil on you, is an anointing of healing. The prophetic is not that emphasized. If it comes in future, it's God. But the healing, the anointing of healing is exactly what God has shown me. I release you to pastor in assembly. In the name of the Father. The name of the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Establish a work. I pray for the anointing of the Holy Ghost 
to overshadow them. From today, we pray, Master, in the name of Jesus, that nothing will stop them penetrating into limitations that are there in their families. And I pray now for life and life in abundance. We take authority over demonic forces of death, demons that move in the family. We command you to stay at bay in the name of Jesus Christ. These will serve God. These will serve God without any limitations in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's clap hands to Jesus. I want you to I want you to pray for your children here. I want you to pray for your children. Rabo shamanda rabo sana mota. Tarabo sokuna menda rabo sana. Eria la rabo shamanda Eldership, come, come, eldership, come. Congratulate my kids. Hug them, love them. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory. Thank you, Father. people here for, on kingship I'm going to Receive the favor. 
the favor of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Receive the favor of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. The anointing that breaks the yoke, all limitations broken in the name of Jesus. All limitations broken now in the name of Jesus. All limitations broken now in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Broken today. In the name of Jesus. Broken, son. In the name of Jesus. Broken today. 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 Answer this prayer 
Answer this prayer. Answer this prayer, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Receive your breakthrough now. In the name of Jesus. No more limits. In the name of the Lord. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. In the name of the Lord. Today. In the name of Jesus. Receive. In the name of the Lord. A new beginning. In the name of Jesus. Hold her in the name of Jesus. Loose and never touch again. In the name of Jesus. Anoint her in the name of the Lord. For your favor, your grace upon your life now. In the name of Jesus. Your grace, your favor. In the name of the Lord. Your grace, your favor. In the name of Jesus. Your grace, your favor. In the name of the Lord. Your grace, your favor. In the name of Jesus. Your grace, your favor. Yes. Receive your wholeness. In the name of Jesus. 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 Receive your wholeness. In the name of the Lord. Marabo Shama Nalabosa. Rikata Morobo Shiken Amenda. In your beginning. In the name of the Lord. In your beginning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord. In your beginning. In the name of Jesus. In your beginning. In your beginning, Lord. In your beginning, Father. In your beginning. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of the Lord. In your beginning. In the name of Jesus. In your beginning. In the name of the Lord. Breakthroughs at work. In the name of Jesus. No more limits. No more boundaries. In the name of Jesus. No more boundaries. In the name of Jesus. No more. In the name of Jesus. No more. In the name of Jesus. No more. In the name of the Lord.
Jesus. Receive your world in the name of the Lord. Receive your world in the name of Jesus. Receive your world in the name of Jesus. Receive. I release you into your world. The blessing of the Lord upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Receive your world. In the name of Jesus. Receive your world. In the name of Jesus. No more. In the name of the Lord. No more limits. In the name of Jesus. No more limits. In the name of Jesus. No more limits. In the mind. In the name of Jesus. They go up at workplace. In the name of Jesus. They go up in the workplace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Expansion at work. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. In Jesus' name. Business people. Business people, please. Business people. Receive by faith expansion of your territory, expansion of your area of influence. These are the things you are receiving. So receive by faith expansion of your area of influence. Some of you are not limited to one country. You are not limited to one country. You, are li you, are, you, you can actually cross borders into other nations and affect positively other nations. But the enemy said, you are just here in Zimbabwe. But believe what we are doing today. When I anoint, I'm actually anointing you to break those boundaries. Those boundaries must now break. I've got, I've got all the time. I don't know you, but I've got all the time. So, so you, got, you receive the extension of boundaries. That's what the Spirit of God is telling me. He said, most of them are limited you are thinking just your area where you are. But as I touch you, I want you to receive beyond the borders. Receive beyond your limitations. Some of you are so influential, you could be far from where you are today. But because you have accepted the status quo. But we are, I'm going to take my time with the business people. Because it's you, Anangu, who built these things. And built very effectively. Dimiwachu, you are the ones. You are the ones who stand up and make sure that we go into nations of the world with the gospel. And, and you do it emphatically. And remember what I told you, whatever personal vision you have, it has to be linked to this kingdom vision. Then it will be filled. It will be, it will make sure that it goes beyond the borders. After I prayed for these people there, there are some people here who got their legs or one leg held. I want you at the end because that is a sign that you cannot go far. Your leg was held when we were praying here, held totally. Some of you one leg, the others actually the two legs. After I prayed for everyone, I want you to come. Let's sing. Let's worship God. Raise up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus, I come before you, Lord, and before your servant. I receive today expansion of my territory in business. From today, water my world, heal my ground, heal the earth for me. Oh, hallelujah. I want you to extend your right hand and touch your earth. Close your eyes. If your earth is in farming, just touch your earth. If your earth is in the industry there, just touch your earth. It was closed, but God has promised to open it now. Not tomorrow, now. That earth is healed in the name of Jesus. So, Father, I thank you for healing the earth of their businesses. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Anointing of the Holy Spirit. Touch their earth, heal their world. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Heal their earths, oh God. Raise millionaires. 
us right here. Praise millionaires. Father, they are standing here. They are standing here. Praise millionaires, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Who will carry the gospel? Praise millionaires. Open their world and remove those boundaries, Lord. I pray as your servant, as we receive millionaires in this place. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You have promised me and you are doing it. So as I touch them in their faith, extend their borders, their world. Remove the limitations. In the name of Jesus, let's go, son. Rabo I want you to be thanking God when you are standing there. Just thank the Lord and say, Lord, I thank you for expanding my world. Let it now expand. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now give him. Open their world. In the name of Jesus. Open their world, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Open their world. In the name of Jesus. Open their world, Lord. In the name of Jesus. This is the day. Open their world, Father. In the name of Jesus. Open their world of business. Open the world of business. In the name of Jesus. Open the world of business. In the name of Jesus. Open the world of business. Jesus, Son of the living God, to the glory of your name. Put away the shepherd. Open their world. In the name of Jesus. Open their world. Open her world. Open the world of our daughter. In the name of Jesus. Receive your world. Get your level, Shaman Alabosa. Open your world. In the name of Jesus. Open your world. In the name of the Lord. Open your world. And Father, wipe away the tears and give your world. Shit. <laughs> 
expansion. In the name of Jesus. Receive your expansion. In the name of Jesus. Your expansion. In the name of Jesus. Your expansion. Go. No more limits. Release it. In the name of Jesus. No more limits. Expansion in the mind. We receive it. In the name of Jesus. Receive it now. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Expansion. In the name of the Lord. Expansion now. In the name of Jesus. Expansion. In the name of Jesus. Expansion. In the name of the Lord. Now. In the name of the Lord. Receive it. Expansion. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Receive expansion. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for giving them their world. Give your world. Receive your world. In the name of Jesus. Receive your world. In the name of Jesus. I bless their hands. I bless their companies. I bless their companies. In the name of Jesus. I bless their companies. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, 
I pronounce you free and released in the name of Jesus. I pronounce you free and released in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of the Lord. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of the Lord. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I've been praying for her. Receive it, son. In the name of Jesus, this is your day. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Rebe Shamanda. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Blessed by the Lord. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Totally blessed. We release the blessing of God upon your life. The blessing of Abraham. The blessing of Deuteronomy 28. Comes upon you today. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. In the name of the Lord. Receive it today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Receive it today. In the name of Jesus. Now. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Expansion. Of business. Expansion. Expansion. In the name of Jesus. Expansion of the Lord. Thank you, Father. Total expansion. In the name of Jesus. Total expansion. In the name of Jesus. Kingly anointing upon your life. Kingly anointing to operate in business. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Receive it today. In the name of Jesus. Receive it today. In the name of the Lord. This is your day. In the name of Jesus. Receive it today. Today, in the name of the Lord. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. Can you move your legs?
Because your legs are, your legs are tight. And I want you to know that it's not about your legs. It's about mobility in business. Mobility. So I just want you to start off by walking. Go to where Bishop is. He lays hands on you. You come back. You come here. Then I lay my hands on you. Right there, Pana Bishop. Let him lay hands. Then come back. I want you to come back. Yes. He was totally limited. And then I want you to come back. Let him come back. Run, run, run. Come back. Go back.
and my because I sense they are going to another dimension of ministry. There's an expansion of territory, expansion of territory even overseas. From today, there's a general respect and honor in different nations. It will shock you. People just accept you. Even standing before kings, God is opening doors for you into palaces. So there's a general acceptance in nations that's coming now. And people will flock at your meetings. So you got to be ready here because sometime you lose him for some time. But wherever he goes, it's for your benefit. It's for your benefit. You must be praying for them, but wherever they go, it's for your benefit. I release you kids to your world in Jesus' name. I release you to your world now. In the name of Jesus, I release you. In the name of Jesus, uncommon blessings. Financially, materially, spiritually, and in ministry. Released into uncommon blessings. The blessing of the Lord. That make it rich and has no sorrow. In the name of Jesus. Overseer, I want you to come with your wife and also the pastors. Love who. Yes, all the pastors just kneel down. Yes, you were anointed before, but God wants to anoint you for another level of ministry. May I release you in the name of Jesus Christ. I take your hand into dimensions of ministry. I take your hand so that you explode in ministry. In the name of Jesus. Receive it, no. Receive it, son. Receive it. Receive it, son. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Receive it. Come here, please. That leg. Anyone else who had leg held, please come here. Okay. That that's 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 exactly what I'm talking about. It's so that you can't go far. It's not that she's sick. No. It's limitations. I want you to receive your leg released in the name of Jesus. Mama Jesus, come here. I want you to hold these legs, these two legs. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we speak the release of these legs now. In the name of Jesus Christ, no limitations. Come out. Release our daughter now. In the name of Jesus, these legs are released. Free. In the name of the Lord, totally free. In the name of Jesus, yes. Receive your freedom. Receive your freedom now. Receive your freedom. Receive freedom of the legs now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Receive the freedom of the legs. And I want you then to practice. To stand up and practice. Yes, your knee. I will anoint it. In the name of Jesus. I speak healing of this knee now. Loose devil. In the name of Jesus. Release of the knee. In the name of Jesus. He goes to nations. No limitation in the legs. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Receive your freedom of your legs. And then after I pray for you, walk around. In the name of Jesus. Receive freedom of your legs now. In the name of Jesus. Receive your freedom. In the name of Jesus. Receive your freedom. In the name of the Lord. Receive freedom of the legs. After I pray for you, please walk around in the name of Jesus. Go, 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 go. Move. In the name of Jesus. Release these legs now. In the name of Jesus. Release these legs. In the name of Jesus. Release these legs. In the name of Jesus.
in the name of Jesus. Release the lux in the name of Jesus. Release the lux, your spirit of poverty. Release the lux in the name of Jesus. Release the lux. Release the lux now. In the name of Jesus. Lose the lux now. In the name of Jesus. Release the lux. In the name of Jesus. Release the lux now. Lose the lux now. In the name of Jesus. up your hand and you said I will never fail in my business in my family in my marriage I will never fail in the name of Jesus Christ the grace of my Lord is upon me now I will never fail I will do great exploits in my industry I do great exploits and we have whatever I touch, I'm blessed, I'm not cursed, above only, never beneath, I will never fail, in the name of Jesus, make that confession, I will never fail, in the name of Jesus, I can have setbacks, but never failure, in the name of Jesus, I receive, Come on, ministers who are here, receive your ministry. I receive effective ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah. 
our exam class uh, class is 2023 school going children please just raise up your hand up there if you are going to be writing exams just raise up your hands father God I now raise our children before you we pray father for surprises in the exam room positive as they rise up and pass their exams. I pray for excellence. I touch every head. I come against dullness of the family in the name of Jesus. I open every mind to excellence in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for giving them the exams. Thank you for bringing remembrance in the exam room in the name of Jesus. I send you to write your exams in the name of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Can we celebrate? Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. I, I want you to jump. I want you to jump and celebrate. I want you to run, run, run around, run around and celebrate. I, I said, since it has been declared that there is now progress, now movement, we have now divine acceleration and speed. Hallelujah. Now, did you notice something? That there are so many people who had a limitation, who had uh, sort of like a heaviness and bondage on the right leg. Yeah. You see the line that was witchcraft, something that was happening. So when I was moving around, God said, from now on, financially, materially, there is now divine acceleration. We are now free. I want you to run, run around, run around, run around. Celebrate your deliverance. I want just raise up your hand I free your city from violence and bloodshed during the elections I pray and lift Bulawayo before you Lord Matabalele and there's a whole north south we pray Father and we arrest trafficking of demons that seek bloodshed we bind you in the name of the Lord and we release the region into the hands of God Thank you, Father, for your results in the elections in the whole of Zimbabwe. We thank you for your results and thank you, Master, that you have the nation in your hands. So I pray right now and take authority over demonic altars in the nation. We arrest and break every demonic altar as we raise the altar of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus is the year of the hand of the Lord. And Lord, we thank you for peace that surpasses understanding. We are brothers. We are children of the same country. So let love flow in the whole of Zimbabwe. The peace of God and the love of God. God bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, I, I announced that we are giving a seed of honor to our father. Hallelujah. But uh, before we do that, can you, uh, we want to celebrate our father with a hamper. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate, Baba. Welcome to Bulawayo. Something has been broken. Can we say something has been broken? Shout aloud. Say, Jura Joseph crumbled. Yeah. 
boundaries have, they have been broken in the name of Jesus. So we want, we have a father and I'm sensing there is something that was holding uh, the, the extent of growth that we are supposed to, uh, to experience in some, some speed that we are about. When I was seated there, that thing, those boundaries have been broken. They have been broken. I, I am very assured in my spirit that we can now go far. So I want you to come with your seat of honor, your family seat of honor, uh, to respect the anointing that was uh, operating here on the pulpit of a great father. So let's come with a faith offering, something you have never given before. Don't come with a dollar or something like that if you can give better. So let's come. I hope you have prepared. Okay, can we come and put in this golden uh, baskets here? Just to come and drop uh, as we honor our Father. Hallelujah. Just to come and drop inside there. Thank you, Jesus. We serve a miracle working God. Hallelujah. We serve a miracle working God. Hallelujah. We serve a wonder. We serve a miracle. We serve a miracle working God. Hallelujah. We serve a miracle working God. Hallelujah. We serve Working, hallelujah, we serve a wonder, we serve a miracle, we serve a miracle, working, hallelujah, we serve a miracle. Thank you, Jesus. We speak your grace and your glory. Can we lift our hands as we pray for the offering? Father, we want to thank you for the coming of the Archbishop, my father, my father, our father. Oh Lord, oh my God, we felt your love, your presence, your anointing, uh, the love of a father to embrace us even as a region. We thank you for all those who came, oh Lord, for the two services, including today, and also those who are attending online from various O oh Lord, nations of the world who were watching this service, we pray that, O oh God, the blessings that we received during these two days may never be stolen by the demonic birds that comes, O oh Lord, after service to snatch the word from our hearts, to steal the word. We pray for progress, divine acceleration, and prosperity in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, O oh Lord. We glorify your name in Jesus' name. May all the people shout a big amen. amen. Hallelujah. We just want, can you give Baba a microphone uh, so that we just get uh, the blessing of 2023 to end the year under his presence, under the hand of the Lord. Let's kneel down all of us as we receive a benediction and a blessing from our Father. 
Father, I raise your people in this region before you. This is your inheritance. We are getting into a season. And Lord, every season has its own, has its own giants, but also your spirit matches and goes beyond these giants. So I pray, Father, as we even go into the season of elections and even coming to the end of the year, give them now the portion of their blessing of this part of the year that they can receive and walk in the, in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ throughout up to the end of the year. Let things that were impossible become possible because of your grace. Thank you, Father, that there will be influencers of many even in their families, that the influence of our Lord Jesus Christ will go through into many of their family members. I release them now into your blessing and enablement of the season. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, peace that surpasses understanding, be with me now and forevermore. Shout it, I shall not die. I will live to declare the works of the Lord. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Can we shout glory? Shout glory. glory. Hallelujah. Uh, this Sunday is going to be a very powerful Sunday. Hallelujah. Can we celebrate this Sunday, this coming Sunday, this coming Sunday? Yes. Uh, we have got also a delegation, uh, some visitors, uh, bishops that are coming all the way from the East African region. One of them has already arrived from Tanzania. These are our contemporaries, our friends, some whom were connected to when we went to East Africa to preach uh, there. So they are coming also here to see Igu Life, to see how we are doing things. Uh, but uh, two of them also are going to minister, one in the morning commando, and another one also in the main power service on Sunday. So it's going to be a great day, a powerful day. Great men of God who are doing great work. So the one, uh, so he came early even he had to travel yesterday because he wanted also to hear my father, the Archbishop. So amongst us, all the way from Arusha, Tanzania, we have Apostle Missionary Robert Elijah Nyongesa. Can you stand? Can we welcome Apostle Nyongesa in the name of from Tanzania? Hallelujah. Yes, powerful, powerful. So he has been in Tanzania for the last 22 years, ministering there, and he, he has a ministry uh, called... Um, uh, Melchizedek Transformation Center and also is a trainer of uh, dynamic church planting uh, in East Africa there and all over so uh, he was also ministering in Lusaka, Zambia so it's going to be a very let's look up here, don't worry what's happening there, hallelujah so this Sunday is going to be a very powerful Sunday and we are going to be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. So I don't want you to miss. Uh, please tell all other eagles and invite your friends as we will be here uh, to hear the word of God. Hallelujah. So though we are going to Wange, but we will make sure that by Sunday we are here with you. Hallelujah. With the prophetess. We are here as the bishops are going to be ministering. May the Lord our God bless all of you in Jesus' mighty name. Can we shout amen? amen. Now, tell the person next to you, say, don't miss this Sunday. Don't. Yeah, I am sensing a heavy move of the Holy Spirit. So these are great apostles. You will hear their profiles when they come. These are not small bishops that are coming. So I want you to receive 
uh, some of them are connected to Apostle uh, Julia Subi in the East African region. So we want to receive them with joy. Another the, the group, the other group is arriving this Thursday, uh, all the way uh, from East Africa. Some are from Uganda, some are from Kenya, Kenya, and Tanzania, and they are going to be here. Hallelujah. Can we celebrate that? Can we celebrate that? And they are saying they are coming because of the popularity and the fame of Igbo life in the West Eastern region of Africa. So they also are coming to learn to, as they also some of them teach and see how we do things. So they are just traveling on their own accord uh, just to come and be a blessing. Hallelujah. So let's celebrate such a gesture. Can we clap hands unto God? God. So uh, there is another one, Bishop Vincent Juma uh, from Pogoma uh, in Kenya. He is also going to be here as well this Sunday. Hallelujah. May God bless you all. Amen. MC, over to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate grace even as we stand on our feet in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As you stand, clap your hands and just shout grace. Even as we celebrate our father, the visionary, and our father, the bishop. Yes, we can do better than that. Yes, we can do better. We can do better. Let's just celebrate grace. Celebrate grace. Celebrate grace. In the name of Jesus. Yes, let's continue, continue, continue celebrating. delegates coming from all over delegates coming from over and I want you to know that you are honored for a second time for the second time you are honored to host ESC so all eyes are on you here to do the same excellence you make me proud because of excellence so we are expecting great things we have uh, uh, three families coming from the United States of America. We also have our own uh, Bishop Ligwe from South Africa with his team uh, coming from America. And most intriguing, our friend uh, from Celebration, Pastor Tom Duchel is coming. He's going to be with us. So it's a great conference. And even our own sons will be ministering as well, sons in the ministry. I want us to prepare for this conference because as you shall see the theme, it's opening us into a season you have never been into. God bless you. Hallelujah. There is also going to be a Zimbabwe live DVD recording on the stage. <laughs> Hallelujah. And uh, Minister Tatenda was saying, tell the Eagles be prepared. They might see Janet Manyoa coming because he's from <laughs> Celebration. So, uh, Father Tom Dushel, they are coming here. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Let's prepare. It's going to be something. God bless you. Hallelujah. Let's keep on celebrating grace. This is grace. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate. Ah, let's clap hands. Let's clap hands. Let's continue. Ah, 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 ah. 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 We thank God. We thank God for all of you. Jesus name celebrate over here in Jesus name <laughs> 